Good y'all, it's your girl Mixy here back with another video. I know y'all probably like, bitch, <laughs> where was you at? I know, I'm sorry. I mean, I know I don't have that many subscribers, but I know y'all miss me because I missed y'all. I miss recording. I do, but your girl's been busy, okay? She got a whole site up, you feel me? All that shit, okay? So make sure, you know, you check that out. But, you know, we're going to get into what this video is for. But before I do that, I'm going to need you to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'm going to need you to... Okay, so before I get into what this video was for, which you can see by the title of this video, I do want to say a couple things and share a few things with you guys. For those of you that are like me sometimes, and when I want to see a video, bitch, I want to see a video, I don't feel like hearing you talk, there's a timestamp below for you to just not even have to listen to me right now if you don't want to, okay? Okay? I understand. But anyway, but... If y'all want to listen to me talk the whole time because y'all miss me, okay? So, okay, first, we're going to talk about these masks that I got because y'all know Rona is still here. She's still here, okay? I got these masks. I don't want to put them on because the last time I put masks on from somebody that sent it to me, my makeup, on the video, I, my, my makeup messed it up. So, I got this mask. And I'll show you guys a close up somewhere on here, whatever. And I got this mask, this cute little mask, okay? And look at this, look at that side. <laughs> Ain't that cute? Ain't that cute? I know it's cute. Anyway, I got these masks from Derrod Rowe. He sent me these. <laughs> He sent your girl these. Please go check him out. His information is in the description box. These are handmade mask um you do not have to worry about a filter or anything because the he makes them um so that they're thick enough so you don't have to worry about that you just wash them and don't you see they got the little rhinestones in that one that's cute it's cute but he makes all different kinds you know if you're not into this or you you know you know, into us like all these colors, and you don't have to have this particular one. He has different kinds, like I said. Please go check him out. He's black owned, okay, black owned, okay, okay. Entrepreneurship over this motherfucker, okay, okay. But like, I'm gonna take his Instagram and put his information in below. I believe you can DM him for um to place an order and you you know see whatever mess that he has created. Okay, okay. Um, I think this. Oh, I want y'all to know you know, I wasn't just gone just to be gone all this time. I was working on a few things. I have my site up, like I said earlier. I'm selling sage, I'm selling stones, I'm selling bath salts, you know what I'm saying, along with the sugar scrub. Okay, so check me out. You know, you know, you know, check me out, support your girl, okay? You know, if you, you know, funds is a little low or whatever, I do offer what? Sizzle? I don't even always say it wrong, sizzle, whatever. Either way, you can, you can, you know, make, you know, pay a little and then make payments, okay? And you can also book me for personal readings, phone readings on its site. But if you still want email readings, you could just book me through the way that you could book me before, okay? Okay, all right, now that I'm done talking, you know, and showing you guys what the fuck I've been doing, we're going to get into this video real quick. Now, I was planning on doing a different video or whatever, but I don't know, I've been getting, you know, requests for this, and I've just been feeling like, I don't know why, but i feel like somebody wanted somebody else wants me to do a video you know it's like millions of videos on and uh, honoring your ancestors and uh, how to you know set up your ancestor altar all that good stuff okay so that's what we getting into today 
but of course y'all already know I'm just gonna be explaining what works for me and how I do it you can um, do you can um, do what fits right for you because uh, another reason why I kind of was iffy about doing this video because I don't really like telling people what to do and how to honor their ancestors I feel like that's something kind of personal between you and them but if you guys want me to tell you guys what I do and what works for me and what I've heard that works for others and why they you know set up their altar and honor their ancestors here we go okay so why do I honor my ancestors why do I have an ancestor altar why you know why just pretty much why and what does it mean to me pretty much so um the reason why i decided to go ahead um along my spiritual journey to go ahead and honor my ancestors um <clears throat> is because like i felt like well i was already told in the beginning of my spiritual journey that like, that's what i need to do that's what you're supposed to do xyz but i was a little scared like i'm not gonna lie i was just i was scared because growing up in church they i was told that i don't know if y'all was told this but this is what i was told i was told that any any um if you see any any spirit or whatever of someone that passed away a dead relative or or anybody like that wasn't them and it was a demon is a, a demon or a demonic spirit okay so your girl was kind of scared okay because that's what that's what i was told you feel me like i was told that it's not them it's a spirit or a shapeshifter um coming to you appearing as that uh ancestor or that loved one that passed away so to be completely honest with y'all i was fucking scared like seriously i'm not i'm not about to sit up there i don't know who the fuck this is like that's a demon like that's pretty much what i was thinking because i was ignorant at the time okay so you know i was a little nervous about that but as i i think this one time i'm I had this dream and my great great grandmother uh, came to me in a dream and she just was explaining some things that was going on um, but why certain things was going on in my life um, between a, a relationship between me and another relative and it just really hit me and then after that I was like okay I gotta set up ancestor altar like it's okay like okay yeah so that's why and ever since i've been connecting with my ancestors my ancestors have been helping me out and i've been helping them out okay so <clears throat> another a question i did want to answer because i know some people just especially like if you don't know when you just starting out like some people feel like just because you're setting up an altar and you're giving, you're honoring your ancestors and all this and that, like you just completely shutting out God and you you no longer give Him thanks for things that He's doing or your angels or anybody else. And I just want to clarify that that's not true. Um, just because you are honoring your ancestors, that does not mean. Well, at least for me, I don't know what anybody else doing. It does not mean that I do not still give gain give thanks give thanks to god it does not mean that i no longer believe in god it does not mean that i no longer call on to my, call on my angels it does not mean that i don't uh call on any other uh ascending masters meaning which sending ascending masters which is um what buddha for some people jesus and all of that i mean i don't really I don't really do I'm not even gonna go there anyway but that does not mean that you have to just completely not acknowledge them or your angels or your archangels that's not that's not what it means at least not for me like I said I don't know what other people doing okay so let's just clarify that because I know me when I'm doing spiritual work 
in manifesting and healing work. I call on everybody. My ancestors, God, the universe, the moons, the stars, the, my angels, my archangels, my spirit guides, spirit, everybody, my higher self, all of that, okay? So let's let's be clear with that, okay? Okay. So but back to my other question, because I'm starting to ramble. Sorry about that. Um I, me and I have a conversation with someone else um, and we were having a conversation in reference to connecting with our ancestors and for some people, especially if you were like me and other people that I've talked to, you know, growing up in church, it's like we've connected and we had a spirit with God or whoever, the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it. And it's like, is we have, it's, it's a relationship there, but it's like, it always felt like something else was missing like there was something else that that felt like they needed to like it was like a puzzle piece missing on a spiritual level if that makes sense like i feel like for me when i honor my ancestors and i have my own spiritual team i feel like that's pretty much what it is that's like my own personal um spiritual team that i have that i can talk to and connect with um on a spiritual level to help me with certain things not saying that god doesn't or nobody else does but it's like it feels to me more personal if that makes sense because for me it's like my ancestors are some some of my ancestors are people that I actually remember and I, I I I was had relationships with why they were here. So it's like they're on the other side now, but I'm that relationship continues or that relationships get stronger and I know that I have someone that I remember on this in in this lifetime that's you know helping me out on the other side. Does that make sense? I hope what I'm saying making sense to somebody, you know, I, I hope I'm not just doo -doo 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 -doo, and you're just like, what the fuck she talking about? But that's, that's why I connect. I feel like it, it brings me closer. I feel like it brings me closer to God and it brings me closer to my ancestors. Like, yeah, I mean, because, you know, they've done a lot and dealt with a lot, you know, for me to be where I am. You get what I'm saying? I hope you get what I'm saying. So that's why I set up an ancestor altar and why I created an ancestor altar and why I feel as though it's important to connect with your ancestors. Okay? Okay. So let me see. What's the next question? What should I add or have? Okay. What should you have or add to your ancestor altar? Okay. So, and I'm going to clip in the video. Um, of showing you guys with one of my altars, not my ancestor altar per se, because that's a little personal to me. So I don't want to show y'all that, you know what I'm mean? saying? So, but I'm gonna give you an idea, okay? So, um, of course, you want to have your basic um, things that you would need for any um, altar, which would be um, something representing a different element, um, something for air, excuse me, air slash wind. Um, fire, water, and earth, and spirit, okay? So, <clears throat> your candle or, um, your candle or any particular stone that's, um, connected with the, um, the earth element, no, I'm sorry, the fire element that, um, for air, you can have an incense or um, a feather or a crystal that represents the air element or anything that represents element or air element. Um, for earth, you can have money, you can have stones, you can have um, a plant. Um, what else can you have? I think there's a, of course, uh, a stone if you want one that particularly represent that you can have a fucking rock if you want like i know some people pick rocks up from outside you know for whatever reason 
You have a rock um, for water. You can have actual water. You can have shells, seashells. You have a stone that represents, represents the water element. Um, if you don't have these things, you can um, have the, um, you can have like the element symbols, write them down on a piece of paper, index card, or you have tarot cards. You can have those in their particular cardinal points. Um, if you want to do that, I'll get into that in a little bit, a reference to the cardinal points and how to do all of that shit and all that other stuff, okay? So, um, you want to have that in spirit. That could be a picture of your loved ones or a list of their names. Um, and I, 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 you don't have to frame, I frame mine. You have, or you can do both. I have both. I have a pictures of my ancestors and I have a list of names, um, in a frame. You know, that can represent spirit. Um, you can have your Selena slave in the middle or whatever and that's pretty much what you need of course you would need a cauldron or something that's fire safe to burn your um ancestor money or if you don't have a cauldron and you got like an old pot this works well i use both i took the damn handle off because it was bothering me to burn your ancestor money on all right for when incense that can incense or your sage or your um, Palo Santo, um, that could be there, you know, that represents when, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then you, you don't have to, um, cause of course everything is all in an attention. Um, but you can set these elements in their cardinal points. I'll, um, link, which I'm not, I'll link, I'll put here somewhere where each element go because I don't remember all the times I always have to refer to my book because I just don't be remembering now if you want to do that you can and pretty much what that is is you get a compass and you figure out um wherever you your altar is set up at and you see what is um what is earth where is I mean what is north south east and west and you place those elements in those areas. That's pretty much it. That's supposed to be in doing this. It's supposed to <clears throat> provide like a better line of connection between you and the other side. Like that's what it's supposed to do. But I mean, everybody doesn't do that. Um, I do it sometimes, and then sometimes as I'm moving my stuff around, I just don't like. It is pretty much it's it, it's up to you what feels natural to you okay um you want to have your ancestor money you want to have a white candle for when you are you know coming to them and connecting with them a white candle um some people use a white candle or a silver candle i just use a white candle or white tea light or i'll light a um a big white prayer candle cancel candle um, you want to have that. Um, some people like to have bells. I have a bell at my altar for when I'm calling them, when I'm calling on them or whatever. Um, and I feel like that's it. Like, oh, um, um, you know, you may want to offer them food. If you know, whatever food they may ask you for or request, um, like, um, or jewelry or cigar or candies or anything like that that you know that they used to like while they were here um water um i had because i don't know i have like i'm gonna tell you what i have on mine okay okay as i was editing um ancestors said it i could it was okay to show you just don't show their pictures so again like i was telling you about the water wine and the beard that's over here these are the stones that i have these are like earrings from my ancestors and money these are just candies and these are just the cars and the cigarettes i have this is just the food this is the incense this is flowers that i have that's the feather that's the tea light and that's my bell okay um excuse the noise in the background i'm hungry and i have food heating up okay okay oh i also forgot to say um some people do not um suggest that you have your ancestor altar in your room i personally don't like it in there but if that's all you can do at the time then you know do you um 
because the reason the reason for that is because sometimes they may wake you or whatever not to scare anybody but it for me it, it's just enough for me but some people it doesn't bother them and i say go by your own judgment and do what it is that you know you want to do okay okay i have water wine beer I have like the food that they ask for, which is usually cornbread, black eyed peas, sometimes chicken. Um. That part, all of that, that's pretty much depending on what your ancestors are asking of you because everybody's ancestors is different. So once you sit with them and you connect with them, they'll let you know. So I'm not telling you, I'm not going to tell you what foods to get and what to put. I'm not going to tell you how often to to put food out because everybody's different. I know some people do set offerings every three days. People do it every single day. And then some people do it once a week on a particular day. So yeah, that's that's up that's up to you and your ancestors and what they want and what they ask for. Okay. And um this, that goes to another question. Um, what's the reason for um, setting, uh, giving them offerings and burning ancestor money? So the reason why you want to burn them ancestor money is because sometimes on the other side or on the other realms, either you or your actual ancestors has certain debts that they need to pay off. I know for some of you that may sound like, what, well, bitch, they fucking did. Like, what debts they got to pay? But it's very true. Um, I know I had a few debts that I had to pay within them last year. And I, you know, was burning, you know, giving them money for that and for whatever that they needed to do. Another reason why I burn ancestor money is for when I'm doing a particular ritual, if I'm asking them for something in particular, but usually I do it every time I do a ritual, I'll give them this because sometimes... They may need the money to do whatever it is that you may ask you may you are asking them to do. Like, like I said, I know this sounds crazy for some of you that's new to this, but it is what it is. Like, if you ever watch the movie Coco, you you kind of get you kind of get what I'm saying because it's kind of this is kind of how it is, okay? So that is the reason for you burning ancestor money. Now, for me, I burn ancestor money every day. You can burn ancestor money when, when that's between you and your ancestors, okay? I feel like if you are starting out, you probably want to start burning ancestor money um, every day because you may have some things that you may want to clear up for that one for either them or you. You, you. I don't know. I don't know your life. I don't know, but I'm just saying, okay? And whole the um, whole thing about food why why okay so we all know that everything has energy everything has a vibration you know what I'm saying um, so some of the some of the reasons why you want why I um, place food at my altar besides the fact of them asking for it <laughs> yeah because they ask for it and sometimes they real picky Okay, they be real picky. They wanting like for a little bit. I was doing um, black eye peas, and I got tired of just making them over the stove. So I got the can ones, but then they like pretty much in so many words like, "Bitch, no, we don't want the can ones. We like the other ones." So I had to get back on the stove. Okay, but yeah. Anyway, um, everything carries energy. So some. Even though we may not always see, okay, yeah, you leaving food there at the altar, but, um, bitch, you just letting this shit sit there. Ain't nobody eating it. But they are, like, because, like I said, everything has energy. The energies from these foods is giving them energy to do the things that we may be asking them to do. And also, it's something that they, that, you know, that they can enjoy in, in, you know, eat like like on coco like on a movie coco y'all watch coco okay so that's that's the whole reason for that like like i said for some of y'all because i know a couple people um 
couple a couple of my friends or people in my circle they not i don't they don't really get it i don't all of them they don't get it they they respect what i do but some of them they just probably they just like bitch what but yeah that's the whole thing like it's like what's the word like it's like give and take like uh equivalent exchange if you want them to do certain things for you then you gotta you know you gotta help them out you feel me like sometimes i was i would sit at my altar and smoke a blunt with them like it is what it is you feel me i i'll sit and i'll sip my wine sometimes with them like just chilling talking or just just sitting in silence and just taking everything in you feel me so that's the whole point of that i mean you still may not get it or it may still fun it may sound uh excuse me silly or stupid to you but i'm gonna tell you to tell you the shit is real okay i manifested a lot of things and a lot of doors has opened up for me by me doing this and honoring my ancestors and looking out for them like seriously and i i can what's the word i want to use i can uh and i know some people personally that was feeling like what the fuck is this bitch doing with this food why is she wasting this food and they recently did it and they they understand now like it's just something that you just gonna have to try out personal on, on a personal level and you know just just go forth of that i can't really i can't really you know i don't know what to tell you i just know what works for me so i don't care i don't care who look at me crazy i don't care if you come to my house and you see my alt and you see food and you see shit over there you see I, I don't care because that's what they ask for they helping me out they opening doors they opening avenues for me so mind your business okay so that's the whole reason of that okay so what's what's the i answered everything um I know one thing I know somebody probably say like how do I call on like you can do what you want but I'll show you guys what I do when I call on them I'll ring the bell and I say um I call for my ancestors for my highest and greatest good come to me now come to me now please accept this offering I light a candle my white candle and I burn my ancestor money and I may say thank you this is for looking out for me and me showing my gratitude to you and um you know that type of thing like that's that's what i do like i i mean y'all need i mean some of y'all like i said that's new to this or don't know what the fuck and y'all just watching this because it's me and you just want to know part of what the fuck i be doing that's what i do like i i that's just me it works for me like I mean, I'd rather do this than give my whole car cash, you know, my money to some church just for the church building the, uh, bills. That's just my personal, like, at least I, I, this is this me burning ancestor money, me offering food and connecting with them. That that's better for me versus me uh, giving money to a church, um, especially if I don't know if if it's being used properly. I'm paying the pastor's bills. Like, I'm sorry. I, I'm just not interested in that. I'm just not. I'm not. Like, that's just me, though. That's me. If you do that and it works for you, do what works for you. If you don't want to do this, then don't do it. Pray it. Pray it. But I think that's pretty much it. I haven't forgot about y'all with um, me giving a more detailed video of how I... Um, dress my candles i am gonna do that i was planning on doing it first but i was led to do this one i may see if i can record that actually tonight to get it over with i may i may actually do that okay and don't forget to check out my site and i'll see you guys in my next video if you have any questions put in the description box. Uh, put it in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Okay. 